You're listening to The Daily Nugget. It's dnugget.com for the end of May. Janelle, you've reached the end. May Yay! 31st. May the 31st be with you, Janelle. Okay, I'll take that it. That doesn't work. Of course. <laughs> it's the last day I can do it. Nope, it is not. School is well, out. Tomorrow's June. Well, there's no rules. Well, when I think you rarely know. are. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think it helps that Jen is sure. not here. If Jen were <laughs> yeah. here, she would she would put a, the kibosh. She put yeah. the kibosh on this. That's right, kibosh. You said it correctly. It Thank she, you, sir. She, she, mm-hmm. See, this kibosh. is this is the hand signal with a dilop, a stop it. <laughs> just you'd be like a mortar and pestle. She'd just be like grinding it. Yeah. She'd be telling you to exactly. say hand gestures too. My hopes and dreams, <laughs> just grinding it. All right, take that, mom. There we go. <laughs> and I didn't eat my vegetables today. Oh. I my dessert now you're going to get on Janelle's bad side. I am sad for you, but yeah. Got it's Friday Free For All, and it's been a few episodes since we've actually talked about the topic. So, <laughs> talked about the topic. And I got to talk. I got thoughts about this. I bet Sam and Janelle do too. Yep. Okay. Did you hear about the story about the cat that went missing recently, Janelle? No, I guess I didn't. I missed that one. Okay, so G- Giliana disappeared from her home in Utah earlier this mm-hmm. month. This is April. Yes. Um, and we are in, and it. She had she had the the family put up pictures all over. There was widespread searches for this beloved missing cat. Okay. She was found a week later. So in another state in California. Whoa. So she went from Utah to California. That's quite a distance. Right. Well, she had some help. <laughs> she uh, jumped a train. She was, res- she was rescued by an Amazon worker <laughs> at, a ret- at an Amazon return center. Okay. Because their owners, I guess, were returning a bunch of stuff from Amazon in a big box. The cat loves boxes. I get it. My dumb cat likes boxes too. But apparently they put, or the cat jumped in the box. Nobody noticed that the cat was in there. (laughs) This cat wasn't meowing or scratching the box when it was closed. I mean, I'm curious as to how this happened. And like, because is this, is this like the, um, what's that movie where the, um, it's a Christmas movie where the the lady um, gift wraps her cat and then gives it and brings it for Christmas. Is that a Hallmark movie? Is that the Lamp- National Lampoon's Christmas one? Is that what I'm thinking of? Oh, yeah. Oh. Christmas Vacation. Yes, 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 yes. Cr- uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Vacation. yeah. Christmas Vacation. <laughs> yes. I mean, <laughs> this cat. Is- yeah. Right. So, well, well, okay. So they just, they say, um, lucky for the cat, one of the boxes seems had been open, so there was air to breathe, and the weather conditions meant that she had not frozen nor overheated. <laughs> oh come on! Oh my gosh! Uh, it, right. That is the most BBC, absurd. It's from thing. the BBC. It's on the BBC website, so it's not. It, I, I don't think it's satire. No, no, no. I've heard, I heard the story from other places and I, I had a discussion with my wife because I have a dumb cat and I'm saying, <laughs> you would be okay. And, and I've been thinking, yeah. is that my way to get, get rid of my dumb cat? <laughs> but I'm like, the, the, I, I, I told my wife, I said, clearly the dude does not like this cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. Because he was returning pairs of steel toed work boots. So it was the guy's work boots. He put it in there. He saw the cat in there. He's like, well, this is a freebie. <laughs> <laughs> Taped it up. I mean. Well, the owner's name yeah. is Clark. And the name of the guy on Christmas vacation is. Right. Clark, Clark, Clark Griswold. 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 Yeah. Right. And, and the guy's not even named in the story. It's Miss Clark and Mr. her husband. Mr. Clark. <laughs> they didn't notice the cat was missing. Seriously, well, I, well, cats are yeah. elusive, right? Well, well, they are, and they're known for disappearing for a day at a time, two days. You know, it's okay. just kind of like. But if it was a house cat, you would notice it was missing. And oh yeah, absolutely. What My was wife, in those Jean- boots? I'm saying a cat had to like 
go to the bathroom somehow. Well, he probably went in the boot. Sure, every time I'm sure every time the package got tossed, the cat went to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, gross! Can you imagine <laughs> that? No, smell. Lux must have smelled yes. terrible. A week. It would be. Later. Yeah, a week. So nasty. In there. Cats yeah, this multiple times a day. Yeah. <laughs> Without the so if you want to make sure this there. doesn't happen to you, Miss Clark, who said this experience was excruciating, said she encourages <laughs> all of us to, number one, microchip their pets, because that's how they found them, and oh to, my. quote, triple check their Amazon boxes. I feel like she <laughs> didn't even double check that one. Yeah. No. Probably not no. even single check. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. They were boot. Unless the unless Mr. Clark was like, quiet down in there. <laughs> I gotta ship you out. Because I, I, I just feel like, okay, at some point, either there's a few ways to deliver to you know to return an Amazon package. You bring it to a Kohl's. Mm -hmm. Did he bring it to a Kohl's? <laughs> They're like, eh. Oh wow. I don't, they don't really care. Yeah. yeah. You have to bring but... it to a UPS store. Well, you can have the UPS store just come pick it up from your doorstep too. True. I feel like so, the UPS people are a little more on it too, though. They would they would know. The fact that it never made any sound, meowed or anything. That, that's just that isn't even. Hmm, I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine anyone picked up the the uh, the package and thought to themselves, "Man, it smells like cat pee." I wonder what's in here. <laughs> okay, you know what? Okay, I'm I'm gonna do. I'll do one thing. I'm gonna play a little little uh, other side here. What if they thought it was some sort of meowing cat toy? Right? The person's grabbing, bringing this package and they hear a meow and they're just like, oh, it's, you know, this is an Amazon return. It's like a broken toy. Or well, something. you know, maybe if it was a UPS Could be person, it. I know I, I've seen multiple UPS people with headphones in while they're working. Right. Yeah. They're yeah. Not, yeah. Yep, not yep. allowed to have, um, uh, radios, I think, in their trucks. So they just have music going in their ears. And um, yeah, probably didn't, might, not, might not have heard any meowing. If you are a delivery person and you listen to the Daily Nugget, let us know. I hope it Do you think you would have caught a cat in a oh. package? Yeah. <laughs> <Do> <laughs> nuggethatemail at gmail.com. <laughs> but that I'm going to give this. Uh, one out of ten catnips for believability. <laughs> Maybe we should ask, what is the oddest thing you've ever shipped? That just makes me think of that old Kmart commercial where they talked about shipping their pants. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny commercial.